My name's Tyrone, I'm better known as Roan, and I've been painting walls all around the world. I've been very fortunate to paint in more places than I ever thought I'd ever be able to travel to. The Geelong city for me was where me and my friends, you know, went to high school and I think how I discovered most of the city was through skateboarding. What I've been doing the last few years is painting a lot of portraits, really large scale murals. And now I'm at a stage where I'm, you know, able to paint something that's like 10 stories tall. When I was asked to do the Geelong silos, to be able to do something like that in, you know, my hometown was, you know, definitely an exciting thing to be able to come back and do something great there, I guess leave a bit of a legacy there. With the subjects, I wanted to represent the past, present and the future of Geelong. It was a funny one to find. All I really had was his address. Knocked on the door and, you know, he was finally home and it's like, oh, hi, um, I want to paint your face on a giant silo. <laughs> you know, he spent well over 30 years around that site. He has seen that place build up and that, the way the whole area has changed. He now makes uh, wooden toys for kids that are going into surgery and he helps out at the Grace McKellar Centre. You, know, you meet certain people and you see how much good they're doing in the world. It's like, it makes you want to be a better person. He's like one of those people. When I was researching, trying to find someone who represented you know, the youth of Geelong, Kelly was suggested by a few people to me. Reading her story, it's just incredible. And what she's gone on to achieve like at the Olympics. And I thought, what an awesome person to kind of celebrate. Karina is a direct descendant of Queen Mary of the Waterall. It's amazing to know about Karina's connection to the land and the area that these paintings are overlooking. Quite amazing to repurpose something that was once for industrial use and reuse it in a totally unintended way. And Geelong's doing that on a grander scale to take these old industrial things and try and make that beautiful and trying to still preserve a little bit of what I see is like the character and the story of the space. To have that opportunity to put my work on there while it is in its, I guess, last, last few years of its life, you know, it's kind of been an amazing